We know everyone's about to begin their Memorial Day weekend. However, we wanted to come back to you and give you kind of a quick update on where we see uh, the legislature next week. We finished our 24th legislative day. Um, six days technically remain. It, it doesn't appear when you, when you listen to the legislature that that may be what's gonna happen. Some are saying they may go only three days next week and then sine die. Others are saying they're gonna go four days and hold one day over uh, in case there were a pocket veto or whatever for the coming weeks. Uh, we have our legislation, a few pieces of it are lined up on the finish line, ready to go. Um, two in particular, um, one being the prompt pay bill of KL Browns is in the Senate. Uh, we expect it to be on the calendar uh, one day next week. Uh, we think there's, there's support for it. We don't know of any opposition to it. So we'll look forward to that passing uh, sometime next week. Uh, our priority piece of legislation, our construction trade initiative, uh, is poised to pass in the House. Uh, we have it scheduled coming up on the calendar uh, on Tuesday. I think it's number nine on the second calendar for Tuesday. And when I say the second calendar, uh, the House will be taking up the ETF budgets as the first calendar. I think there are seven bills in that package. Uh, fairly non-controversial. We hope that they'll move through that and get onto that second calendar and hopefully we'll get our bill passed uh, on Tuesday. Uh, there's still hope for the remaining pieces of, bill, of legislation within our package. Uh, they're all close to being ready to go. Um, we'll see. You know, you never know when it gets down to these, as, as we'd say on the farm in the short rows, but we'll know something by midweek of where we are and we'll come back to you with more information.